guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to attempt to do the curly fro. I have always wanted like a curly fro with bangs, but I didn't want to cut my actual hair. But now that my hair is like natural bangs because of the new cut, there's not a better time than now to experiment with this curly fro. So before everyone gets their panties in a bunch, I am gonna say yes, I will be using a blow dryer to stretch out my hair to get the shape that I want for this curly fro. So I'm gonna put that out there from now. So if you don't wanna see me use heat on my hair, you can just leave so it's not a shock to you guys when it happens in about six minutes for you guys, not for me. So anyways, I already washed my hair and I deep conditioned and I just uploaded a video of my extreme deep condition and what I'm gonna do now is a part of my lock method, I do the LOC which is leave-in oil cream. So I'm gonna go in with the Miche hair and scalp oil and just put that all throughout my hair. Just to get a kind of an idea of what I'm going to be going for. It's gonna be something like this, but better, I promise. But you see how my hair already falls into like a little bit of a, a bang shape? But it kind of looks like more of a mushroom right now. So we're gonna play with that and fix it up and make it look good. I've never really done this before, so I'm kind of winging it. Usually when I do my wash and goes, I would use my curly curl cream and also pair it with my extreme wet line gel. But for some reason today, I feel like skipping the curly curl cream and just going in with my wet line gel since I'm going to be stretching my hair and I want it to be bigger instead of super defined, you know? I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's split our hair into four. Oh, cute. Yep, gonna have to do that one soon as well. What, cute! Oh. Do I gotta change up this tutorial? This is so cute. No, stick to the plan, stick to the plan, stick to the plan, okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything special. Guys, seriously, look at my hair. Before the gel, who are you? Whose hair is this? I just need to know. No? Okay. So anyways, I'm not gonna do anything special, so I'm not gonna like be talking throughout this application of the gel. So I'm just gonna have you guys sit here and watch me do my hair for a second until we get to the good stuff, okay? So just enjoy the music, the same music that I play in every video. Okay, let's just get started. Just doing gel only makes it so much faster. That's great, superb. So I'm just gonna spritz my hair with a little bit of water and then I'm gonna shake my hair to the end of eternity really quick. And now I'm just gonna shake. Oh 
Jesus. <sighs> I sit down after that. All right, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit and then I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so this, goodness gracious. So here's my hair completely dry. So the point of this tutorial, well, I don't, we're, we're learning together here because obviously I've never done this before on my new head of hair. So I'm going to try to make like a big curly fro, big curly fro. I'm gonna be using my blow dryer. So I'm going to stretch my hair out a lot. I, I'm pretty sure I said that in the beginning of this video, we will be using a blow dryer, but we have our handy dandy heat protectant. So we're gonna see, but I wanna stretch my hair out to see if I can make like a nice, cute, full curly fro and just kind of rock it like that. So, I'm just gonna use some clips to help me, not section my hair, but, well I guess, yeah, section my hair. Um, but you gotta be careful, because you don't wanna mess up your curls too much, but we're kinda gonna mess them up anyways, just a little bit. So I'm gonna start with this section back here. We're gonna spray some heat protectant on this. Honestly, this is probably not the best heat protectant. It's also a seven in one, but, I, but whatever, that's, whatever. So, I'm going to spray it just on my roots because that's the part where I'm going to be blow drying. Spray both sides, work it in. So I'm gonna be blow drying about like this much of my hair so that it can stretch out. I'm gonna go on warm heat, but I'm gonna put it all the way up. is still coily and curly but the top is definitely stretched out a lot more but as I build more towards the top I will kind of lighten up on how much I'm stretching it because you still want the top to look like it's really curly and full but here's just the comparison we have this and then this is where it really falls naturally on this side so let's never ever underestimate the power of stretching the mess out of your hair. <laughs> it's not something that I'm gonna do all the time, but since I'm trying to go for like a big fro right now, this is what we're doing. And I did not think this is gonna work, but it looks like it's gonna work, so I'm very, very excited. That's crazy. All right, Jess, don't get too comfortable with Putting heat on your hair, you have a healthy hair journey, don't get too comfortable, it'll come, it's all, it'll, it'll come in time, it'll come in time. But right now, this looks great. We have this, and then we have this. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, all right. tell much of a difference okay you definitely can <laughs> I'm gonna blow out this side as well just get a little matchy match going oh my gosh this looks so good I'm so excited oh um, I'll show you guys the back I don't know if you can tell in the back but let me just turn around so well. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my pick and fluff it out just a little bit more for a little bit more volume and a little bit better of a shape. I'm trying to see, make sure I blew it out evenly. One side does look a little bit longer than the other, like right here, looks like I slacked off a little. Whatever, let's just pick it out.
But I'm gonna use a hairpin to kind of pin my bangs forward because these aren't real bangs. So I'm gonna go underneath some and I'm gonna pin these forward so that they'll stay down. These right here. Make sure your thing is your um, pin is actually black so that it can blend in a little bit better because this one is probably not the best blend. But it's what I have and the stores are closed. So this is what we're using. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is the one. You guys know what time it is. It's hoop earring time, change of outfit time, and um, lip gloss with lip liner time. I will be right back. I will. So this is just, you know, this is what we're working with. Like, I don't know, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, do I like bangs on me or do I not? It's a, you know, it's something a little different. Yeah, it's just nice to switch up my look every now and then. Literally, is my hair not a heart right now? Like, is it not giving you I love you vibes? So that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Okay guys, I'm back. Low key, and I'm taking my jacket off. Low key, I like the middle part better. <laughs> I like to like see my face a little more so this is the real look that I'm going with and uh, I just wanted to come back and, and share that with you you can tell me if you, if you prefer the bangs if you prefer the middle part but uh, I think I'm gonna go with the middle part for right now definitely feel like I like that so much better anyways uh, thank you guys for watching my video love you guys and I'll see you in my next one bye Oh, 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 oh,